since the Capital Cup one game, he seems to have got a few better results together. Do you feel he's turned the corner up there now, or they've turned the corner? I think, yeah, they, they've done well recently. I think it was always going to take time with what Brendan wanted to do. Um, yeah, they've picked up some good results uh, recently, but I think that work, the work he's doing there is going to take a while to to really settle down and for the results to come through and, and for him to bring the players he probably wants to. So, But no, they've, they've picked up recently. I think when you play Liverpool, any point, this is a very tough game. Obviously, top, top players you're playing against, so it's going to be a very tough game, but... You know they've picked up a bit of form, and you know we're we're in not 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 too bad a form as well. They're below you in the table. They've not done well this season, and yet you're saying, as lots of other people are saying, oh, it's Liverpool. It's everybody's excited. Why? I think it's just the history of the football club. You know, I think, you know, when you look back to the obviously the years of them winning the European Cups and you know the, the league titles and and bits and pieces like that. I mean, they're a massive. You know, one of the biggest clubs in Europe. So, okay, they haven't won the Premier League for for quite a few years, but I think when you when you go to Anfield, especially, you can feel the history there. You can feel you can feel that at the ground, and you know they're still a massive club. Okay, they haven't you know they haven't won the league for for a long time, but you know they're still classed as one of the you know the biggest teams in in not just England but in Europe. And the atmosphere down here, the Swansea fans got lots of plaudits when they went up to Anfield. The way they conducted themselves, the way they sang, the jokes they came out with, the songs they came out with. What's the atmosphere going to be like down here, do you feel? No, I think it's going to be a, a great atmosphere on Sunday. I think, um, you know, when I bump into fans in, in the local shop or anything, you know, they're, they're talking about this game as one they've been looking forward to. And I think it's going to be a great atmosphere. Like I say, because you've got that extra extra bit on it with, with some former um, people who worked at this club coming back. Um, you know the Liberty's always rocking uh, when we're playing at home, but obviously with it being Liverpool and, and everything that goes with it, it's, it's going to be a great atmosphere and you know one that we're really looking forward to. You're going to be up against Joe Allen, who you know, obviously know very well. Ashley is going to be up against Luis Suarez, and um, he seems to be the only one scoring goals at the moment. Are they a one-man team? No, they're not a one-man team. I think you know you've got to look through their their list of players that they've got. I mean. Steven Gerrard, you know, look at Raheem Sterling, he's come in and done brilliant. You know, we know we know about the quality of Joe Allen, Glenn Johnson, Pepe Reina. I mean, they've got international players all over the pitch, so, you know, they're not a one-man team. Yeah, Luis Suarez is, you know, their big goal for it, um, if you like. But when you look at the, the players on paper and, and the players they've got, you know, you're talking about top international players who've, who've won a lot in the game. And Ashley against Suarez, after what's been uh, written this week or come out this week, might be an interesting little confrontation. Oh no, it's, it's always a tough. I think Ashley and, and whoever's playing at the back will always say it's a tough, a tough ask against Luis Suarez because he's he's a very good player. He's very tricky, and you give him an opportunity, he'll score. So, no, there's been a bit of press about it, you know, uh, over the last few days. But I'm sure once the game kicks off, you know, both players will be professional, get on with the game, and, and try and do their best for the team. Is it likely to add a bit of spice? I don't, you know, I don't know. I think that's for the outside to deal with. I think for players in general, I think you just get on with the game. You know, you can't, you know, you can't afford just to start getting sidetracked and worrying about one player and what's been said and stuff like that because you lose your focus on the game. And both players want to do well for their team, so I'm sure they just concentrate on on trying to do their best. Finally, let me ask you about uh, QPR. Harry has apparently taken the job. You played under Harry at West Ham. Yeah. Um, what's he going to bring to a struggling side? Oh, I think he'll bring experience. I think he's shown he's shown before when he took over. I think he took over Tottenham and they was they was quite near the bottom and he, he turned them around. So he's obviously a manager of great experience. Knows the Premier League um, inside out. He's a great motivator of of players. You know, I, you know, I played under him, but I was only seventeen or eighteen years old. But you could see then he always got the best out of the players. Um, you know, I think it's a it's a great appointment. Obviously, he's a, he's a football man. He knows his stuff, and I'm sure he'll do a great job there.